part of it was just that I wanted to produce my own content and share my ideas without answering to anyone else. Um, I enjoy that process. But more broadly, I was starting to see a change in, in people's world view, uh, a change in public opinion that just wasn't being represented by the mainstream media. Um, whether it was the financial crisis, uh, the war on terror and the uh, interventions in the Middle East, um, the EU and its failings, uh, the financial cuts over here in the UK and the student protests over tuition fees. Um, there was a growing feeling back in 2009 when I launched the website uh, around many of these issues that the public just weren't being told the truth or that the mainstream dialogue was extremely limited on these issues. So being swept up in that kind of anti-establishment vibe myself, I decided to throw my voice into the mix and launch an alternative media site. Well, people turn to the alt media because their opinions just aren't being represented. It's supply and demand. Somewhere along the line, the mainstream lost touch with a significant portion of the public. Um, and if you go all the way back to the Iraq war, for example, there was a massive anti-war movement, but their views were just not really being represented on the mainstream. And that same issue um, can be seen all the way up to the interventions in Libya and our involvement in Syria. Um, people feel like they've been given pro-war propaganda. So they turn off the television, they close the newspapers, and they go online um, and watch YouTube and go on social media and read the websites that more closely align with their views. Well, I think they played a huge role, but only because the mainstream media failed and left a vacuum for the alt media to fill. Um, the mainstream was almost unanimously anti-Trump, fueling all kinds of overblown narratives that he was a racist, that he was a sexist, a homophobe, um, that Russia hacked the election, that he's going to cause World War Three, and basically that his supporters were just all stupid racist bigots. Uh, and that just pushed people straight into his arms. That just pushed people straight towards the alternative media. Um, and the fact that the mainstream predicted Hillary and Trump won just goes to show how out of touch they actually were with the general public. And it was the same kind of phenomenon over here for Brexit. You know, the mainstream failed to represent people's views and they had this really narrow dialogue uh, of what Brexit was that basically just labelled people who supported it as racist. And then the masses went and voted for Brexit. Well, it's definitely going to keep growing, and that's as much a technological shift as it is an ideological shift. Um, you have a whole generation now that primarily get their links to news through social media. You know, they're watching YouTube, not the 10 o'clock news. They're reading Twitter, not the newspapers. And I actually have uh, quite a concern over the rise of the alt media. It, and that's actually a very broad term because there are many different types of alt media, there are many different opinions out there. And my concern is that because content creation is now so easy, anyone can, and anyone can you know, do a YouTube video, anyone can launch a website or write a blog, we may have reached this point where every single world view is now catered to. You know, whether you believe Jews rule the world or you want the government to adopt a new form of raw free market capitalism like a, a libertarian, no matter what your view is, you can find the websites and the forums and the Facebook groups and the YouTube channels that only cater to that view. And we could end up with a society that's extremely splintered where everyone has their own version of reality and everyone is stuck in an echo chamber where they don't really consume anything that contradicts their opinion. And when you think of truth, truth does not really enter into that and that is supposed to be what the media does, is tell the public the truth, reports the facts. 
But in these echo chambers and these uh, different um, spaces online where everything is reported from a certain angle, um, the truth doesn't necessarily take part in that. Alternative facts. Everyone now has their own version of reality. And that could actually be quite dangerous.